Okay. Woo! What? You civilians try to fire, boy. Oh my goodness. That was a good one out there. <clears throat> I mean, that was a good one. Oh, I'm all over fish right here. Hit it, boy. There we go. We're hooked up into a good one right here, folks. Finally. I mean, this is a good one. Ooh, we. This is a good one. <laughs> I knew sooner or later we'd hook up to a good one. But there's so many shad in here that these fish are tough to catch. Tough to get them to bite when you're, there's that much bait. <clears throat> you're talking about strong. These fish are strong, especially when they're in the current like this. This fluke is about the same size as the bait that's in here. on here, striper. There he is. It's a good one. For today. Oh, well it ain't no striper. It's a hybrid. My goodness, no wonder he fought. Look here. It folks, what a hybrid. That's the reason. I thought it was a striper. That is a hybrid and that's a good one too <laughs> let's take a look at this fish look here what a hybrid folks that's a big hybrid i thought it was a strike oh probably i figured 15 pounds better but look how thick that fish is and that is a beautiful hybrid no wonder that fish peel dragged that way. Let's let him go, and I'll show you what I caught him on. God, oh, that is a big one. I'm proud of it because the wind and the rain and the current's been tough out here. Elmo, let's let this fish go. That fish right there go about nine, ten pounds. Right there, he's heavy. Let's get him back right here. Let's revive him. They're kind of, they're a little tougher than a strat. Um, a lot tougher. A, a strat, you got to put them back real quick, especially a big one. Right now, the, the water, the surface temperature is about 74 degrees, and that's pretty, pretty hot for these fish, believe it or not. They're burning themselves out. Okay, let's let him go. There he goes. That's what it's about right there. That's what I was after, and I'm going to show y'all what I caught him on. I had to go through a series of baits. Of course, he's wrecked this one out right here to figure out what to catch them on, but this is a, a four inch super fluke. Let me make sure about that. I need another one anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. White pearl uh, fluke. And it's about the same size as the shad, which this rooster tail right here is too. But I never could get a hybrid to hit that rooster tail. Just white bass. And I'm using a 1 8 ounce jig head right here. Let me get this one off. And it has a Gamakatsu hook in it. 20 pound line, fluorocarbon to a swivel, and a 20 pound test braid. 
Now, I tell you, if I wasn't geared up that way, folks, I wouldn't have caught that fish. That fish was strong. All right. Let's look at the action of this fluke right here real quick, folks. See that? It's got a real lifelike action right here. <clears throat> I'd love to catch another one of those. They're kind of hard to catch right here. Or they are right now. But my goodness. You talking about pulling now? My goodness. <clears throat> there we go. Mm-hmm. Got another mule right here, folks. <clears throat> A mule. I got me another good one. Now they fight, don't they? Woo! Nothing like it. <laughs> They're starting to fight now. I mean, bite now. Excuse me, folks. Now this one right here is probably a striper because they come to the top of the water. Yeah, he's a good one though. I'll get him over here out of this current and we can handle him a lot better. I tell you, braid's the way to go fishing like this in current real heavy current it does a lot better because this 20 pound braid right here is equivalent this is power pro braid by the way it's equivalent to uh yeah it's a regular strap right here to six pound test mono which it cuts through the water a lot better looky here look at him That's a good one. There ain't nothing wrong with that right there now. That's a heavy fish. Heavy fish. That fella down there caught with him one boy. He is hard. About the same size as this one. Saltwater strike. This is the one we need to let loose pretty quick. Look how he eat that. That fluke is down there. I want you to Huh. Now we're gonna have to revive him. Pretty good right here. Salt water is just ain't tough. There he goes. See how he's acting there? But there he goes. He's okay. You gotta do it quick or you'll lose that strap. All right, let's get back up here. Whoa! Hey. Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> whoa, doggone darn, my goodness gracious, doggone darn. Tell you what, I've had several big herring, skipjack herring, just knocked a fire out of that bait right there. They ain't, they ain't got it. I was fixing to say they ain't quite big enough to grab a hold of it. I'm waiting for these strap to come back in here. There he got off. Took my took my dead blame bait. Dead gone it. I switched to a super fluke junior. Now these to me folks they work better if you'll take them and put them on like this. Here's the split. Put the split up like that. He took that away from me. That's a good bait right there for speckled trout too and redfish if they're up shallow. But it works better in current if you'll put that part right there up. 
come through the water a lot straighter. There we go. Good old ah skipjack. <laughs> They just ain't quite big enough to hit that bait. And when they do latch onto it, this current's so tough. Skipjack hair and they're notorious for that. There's another one. We might be able to get this one in. I don't know. I wish I had my cooler with me. I'd fill my cooler up with skipjacks. You talking about fighting. That fish is fighting. No wonder. I, look here, what a big old skipjack. Heron, come here, boy. And he took my dead blame bait off. Quit, quit. Best catfish bait. And I, oh, me, I can't stand putting that fish back. But I don't have nothing to put him on ice. You got to put him on ice immediately. Go on back, boy. There we go. Doggone it. Man, I wish I had my cooler with me. Doggone good catfish bait I'm throwing back. <laughs> Folks, I'm gonna wrap it up. I've gotta take Mama Sue to Captain DS's this evening. I got to cross this old rough water right here. Hey, had a ball out here. Light is right if you want to have a good fight. And braid will pay in clear water. In clear water. In uh, swift water. Excuse me, folks. I'm a little bit late, and I hope Mama Sue ain't going to get me. But I appreciate everything y'all done <laughs> for me. In this channel, hey, whoa, whoa, I'm distracted because them rods won't stay where I want them to. Remember, keep them lines wet and hang. And remember, don't be when you can, bug hog.